Good morning. Yes, I just want to open up here with with three main points. First, uh, I don't, we keep saying this. I, uh, I just think any country in the world that would knowingly harbor bin Laden would be out of their minds. Uh, and I think they've seen what happened to the Taliban. Uh, and I think that's probably a pretty good lesson to people not to do that. Uh, obviously, if he goes into Pakistan, the Musharraf government, and I think many of the people of Pakistan will be helping us to find him. That doesn't mean that there aren't people there who will be sympathizers. And this man, we don't know where he is now, and he could be on the run. Well, I do a follow-up, uh, please, sir. In your I do a follow-up, excuse yeah. me, a follow-up, if I may, according to protocol. Um, and I think as long as we continue to believe they have intelligence value, that will arm Taliban forces and senior leaders like Mullah Omar and or Zawahiri and the Al Qaeda structure are still at large. And uh, I would say again that we can expect half defeated enemies to continue to pose considerable dangers and risks to our troops. So it's going to be a difficult job. We're going to have to work to root them out. Afghanistan is a country roughly the size of the state of Texas, and the terrain is much more hospitable to those who want to run and hide than to those who have the job of rooting them out. Predict. This really is very, very difficult. Uh, first of all, you have several valleys in the Torabora complex. Each of them is several miles long. In each of those valleys, you have several hundred caves, and you want to go through very methodically, one by one, and if it's been closed by bombs, uh, determine whether or not you want to open it up to see what's in there. And if it's not been closed by bombs, you have to determine whether or not it's worth going in. So it's going to be step by step, cave by cave. Uh, and to put a time limit on that would be uh, imprudent right now. I guess that's where I leave it for now. Yes. Uh, Mr. Secretary, you said uh, during your opening remarks that um, the war does not end in Afghanistan.